Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nilesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about X-ray tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be stepping into understanding the various issue types which we get with uh, X-ray installation. Because before we can talk about creating test cases, it's really important to understand that what are the benefits of having an X-ray being embedded to your Jira instance and what kind of issue types does exist and how they can be best utilized for your test management altogether. We do have different types of issue types which are very helpful to do end-to-end -end test management. So being aware of all that in a systematic manner would be very resourceful and helpful at your test management within your organization. So let's quickly jump into the system and let's understand what are the various issue types which we get handy with our X-ray installation. Part of this tutorial, we will be stepping into understanding the different issue types in X-Ray and their significance of being a part of the X-Ray instance. In our previous tutorial, we did the installation of the X-Ray and understood how exactly an app which is X-Ray available on the Atlassian Marketplace can be installed and configured to a particular project. If you remember, we configured X-Ray as a part of my test project, which is my project here in the Jira instance testing in nutshell.atlassian.net. While installation was completed, we saw that a testing board was visible to us. In fact, the app section now shows us the X-Ray as an interface availability and this app is now installed on our instance. The very first thing which we need to get started with is understanding that what are the different issue types which gets added to a project when X-Ray is configured. Now remember team, an custom issue type can be always created by your administrator at any point of time if you wish to. But uh, you know when it comes, comes to the installation of X-Ray, you get it by default. That means the X-Ray adds it up and you don't really have to create a custom issue type which are here automatically coming from the X-Ray interface. That saves a lot of your time because grooming, designing, setting up the screen etc. will consume a lot of time. Now having X-Ray directly installed will save your time in setting up your issue types but at any point if you think that you need any other issue types to make your test management more efficient feel free to reach out to your Jira administrator and ask them to create a custom issue type for you. Now talking about the various issue types which we get by default when we install X-Ray is one test, test set, test plan, test execution and precondition. We do get a sub issue type like under test execution you will also get sub executions which will be created once a test execution is created. Now in order to tell you more about what are each, each of these issue type let me give you a high level introduction today and the very next tutorial will be creating some of these and working on it. The test of course test is an issue type which is basically to create and write your test cases. Now in a project when a requirement is being tested, a tester always needs to document the uh, prerequisite, uh, the test data, the steps to be performed, the expected result and many other related information. So this test issue type will have a custom interaction from X-Ray which will give you all that input what you really need to be captured as a part of uh, the test management. The second issue type is here called as test set. Or let me jump to the precondition in a sequential order. So precondition is another issue type which you get in X-Ray and this is all about creating the prerequisites of any test cases which you would be writing. Now most of you must be thinking at this point that the preconditions are rated specific to each test. So why this is a different issue type? Because the number one thing is here the preconditions can be separately created and then associated to any test which you want to associate it to. So you don't really have to write it again and again if the precondition remains common. For example, in order to test login, the precondition is the user must have this URL access and the user must have been registered on this particular application, etc. Now that's where the preconditions can be independently created and can be called as a part of the test or test execution at any point of time. 
Now this is where the reusability can be very well understood and at the same time you don't have to write the preconditions every time you write a test. All right? You can save a lot of your time. Coming to the next one is test set. Test set issue type in X-Ray is basically to collectively put multiple tests together and call it as a test suite. So if you are coming back from an understanding of ALM, you come from any other test management, there also you find a test set as a folder where you put multiple instances of the test or multiple tests itself to be executed together. The main purpose of having test set in the test management is to put multiple tests together which would be executed at once. So say for an example, if I'm trying to test login with multiple set of data, then I would call the single set of test case multiple times, which is also known as instantiation, and I would put that all instances under a particular test set so that I know which is the test set which I need to run in order to complete the login execution. So I don't have to independently go to each test and run it separately. Rather, I just have to open the test set and run it directly with all the tests under it. So you can collectively put them together under a test set. And finally, the test execution, which is one of the issue types to run the test. Trust me team, right now you're looking at a Jira instance and uh, you have the same similar fields, what you generally get for user stories, tasks, etc. But once you create a test execution or once you create a test, you will have a different interface coming up from the X-Ray which will allow you to feel like the test management tool. So today we are just covering about the theoretical introduction of it. We'll be spending us, you know, time on each tutorial giving you the detailed information on each of these items in a cyclic process. Finally, the last one which we did not talk about is the test plan. Test plan is more of like an epic in the Jira interface which could be used to categorize the tests, executions or club the multiple tests under certain levels, etc. So for an example, if I want to put uh, hundreds of my tests under a particular umbrella called as unit testing or if I have another 200 test cases for integration test or if I have another 100 test cases for system testing then how would I put that under one particular umbrella is test plan. So once I create a test plan it becomes like a parent in the test management and every single test can be linked to a particular respective test plan. With that, you get a lot of reporting solutions. So if you want to populate reports in X-Ray or in Jira, all you would need is a test plan ID and put it there and you will have the statistics for that. So at any point, if you want to group multiple things together to showcase as one item, just use test plan there. We will show you a particular usage of that in our one of the tutorials. So stay tuned for that. So I think we have just covered all the issue types here, the test, test set, test execution, precondition, and test plan. Don't forget, the bug is handy all the time right from the beginning. So when you create a Scrum template project, you get bug with that by default. So you don't really have to worry about creating a new issue type to manage your bug or defects because Jira will have it already. So that's where X-Ray does not provide an additional issue type for managing the defects because Jira inbuilt has one. Right? So that's all from this particular tutorial team, keeping it short and simple so that we go in steps and learn efficiently. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.